I come out of the ambulance, they take off and go to the hospital. About two hours and a half later, um, I, I get, I'm on my headset, we're about 30 minutes from starting the bush race. I'm on my headset walking up pit road and I get a note, um, a call from the TV truck that said, Rusty had called, the hospital had called for Rusty to the racetrack, they passed him through to the TV truck to tell me thank you for what I had done and that he's gonna be admitted overnight, but he's gonna be okay. And so, you know, obviously that's great news. And so so word sped, spread very quickly in the garage area that Rusty was being admitted, but was gonna be okay. So we're like five minutes before the race starts, the bush race, and Dale Earnhardt comes walking down pit road as I'm walking up by the car, is gridded. He goes walking down pit road, walks right up to me and puts his finger in my chest and says, hey, you hear about Rusty? He's gonna be all right? I said, yep, yeah, it's good news, and it's great news. And then Dale stopped and looked at me and said, you know, you probably say Rusty's life today. And then he just paused and looked at me and says, why would you do that? Why would anybody do that? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and, so, and so, and then he started, started the last smile and stroking that big mustache. Cause Rusty and Dale, as much as they were competitors on the racetrack, they were big friends and buddies off the track. And once we knew Rusty was okay, you know, Dale, that's typical Dale Earnhardt. He wanted to, hey, why would you do that? Why would anybody do that? Cause they were competing for a championship. 